I'm just checking in as you saw earlier I was actually going to a doctor's appointment I had to do my yearly checkup plus I have some other stuff going on that I'll tell you guys about um, a little later but we went and actually and my tree the lights are going out look at that lights are going out so I'm gonna try to find the bulb Jay's gonna we'll see if we can find a bulb for it maybe changing to get it working or it's either gonna stay like that or I'm gonna string some lights around it and just turn those lights off I'll figure it out but yeah that's not I don't like that, but we just got to deal with it. So, yeah, we went to Publix, picked up a few things. It's basically, I could say it's like a snack day. He went there to get stuff because um, he's making hamburgers and fries, homemade hamburgers and fries. And we got a bunch of junk. So I'm just going to show you what we got and go from there. So he had to get some buns. We have this. He has this to make the homemade burgers, but I think he's going to just use these to make it easier because it's already kind of late. Picked up some old-fashioned applesauce two bananas to go with some um yogurt bowls they have the sugars brown sugars four for five why i don't know but four for five these were two four hold on these were two four was it buy one get one zoe these but these were buy one get one so these popcorns and buy one get one so we got that one sea salt these were buy one get one so we picked up these these are the french fries that we're getting or using and then we got some cookies these I'm trying to keep for the I'm gonna do the little cocoa bar I just need to go get a few candies and put there so once I do that I'll show that with you guys that's if Mason don't eat those out before some more mixed cookies um, these are cute Zoe saw these and I actually am gonna probably get some of these for Sanaya's class because they're having a party so I'll go back for that chips ahoy for the bucket or for the jar some shredded iceberg for the sandwiches and then these will also buy one get one so i'm gonna keep you okay i'm gonna keep one out and i'm gonna put one in the freezer then over here picked up some little bites um muffins another thing of these to put in the freezer some wafers these uh hot cocos for the keurig we're gonna try these out it says creamy rich hot cocoa and that's supposed to have like a little salty flavor to it so that should be good just gotta get some marshmallows jay picked this up for coffee and he got these to guess to go with the um burgers and stuff so we wanted some of this this is for the hot cocoa as well some yogurt and then we picked up a bottle of this um barefoot frescato so we'll see how this tastes and i'll let you guys know how we like that Last, we got these. I got another one of these. I shared this in my last one. This was really good. So we got these. And these were buy one, I think, two for ten or two for nine. So I got, Zoe picked up this cappuccino fudge blitz. And then, of course, I got some butter pecan. And Jay picked up this Oreo ice cream. So I'm going to go put these things up, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Uh, sorry if it's hard to hear me. My voice sounds kind of funny. Uh, still not feeling that great. I actually went to the doctor today and they actually prescribed me some medicine so hopefully this stuff here will be gone soon and I'll be back to myself and then I have some other stuff going on um, which I'll tell you guys about a little bit later on don't want to get into it at this moment because I need to put these things up and deal with the kiddos so I'll get back with you guys in a little bit Jay 
Jay's over here making this sauce um, for the burgers. It's what? What do you have to do? How many cups of uh, mayo? Half a cup. Half a cup of mayo. How much? Uh, Two tablespoons of ketchup. Mm-hmm. Two tablespoons of uh, relish mm -hmm. or chopped up pickles. And you just mix it around? And then two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Okay. And that's McDonald's Mac sauce, what they put on the Big Macs. McDonald's Mac sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay, so once he finished this, I'm going to show you guys how it turns out. And then for the burgers, you just season them with uh, salt and pepper, right? And then you're going to put this on afterwards. Oh, why? It's almost done cooking. No. You're going to mix this together. Mm-hmm. And then um, prepare your burger, mm -hmm. and you spread this on the on the bun. On the buns, okay. All right, so I'll show you guys how it looks afterwards. And this is how it looks, guys. It's basically the McDonald's Mac sauce. Shredded lettuce on there. I'm going to add just a little ketchup on it, cut it in half, and that is going to be Din Din. And you guys can see here, this is how it looks. Hey, fam. It is a new day. Some time has passed since I picked up the phone last. Been a busy uh, week, couple days. We actually went to give blood this morning, and so I had an appointment to go give blood. So we went and did that, and then we stopped in Dollar General, or sorry, sorry, Dollar Tree. I could not vlog in there, of course, because I had Tanaya, the wheelchair, and all that stuff. So, but I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that we got. I just picked up a few cards, um, and then also a gift bag, and then some candies that I wanted to get for the little cocoa coffee station for the family, and then um, just some personal items. But I'll show you guys what we got really quick. I already washed the stuff for the cocoa bar. So I'm gonna dry that stuff up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get to decorating that. Right now I'm just gonna fold these towels up, get them put in the drawer after I show you guys what we got, and then warming up some lunch. Uh, today, I need to clean the bathroom. I do have laundry that we're doing. Jay's actually washing up some clothes, so we're gonna finish up that. We still have the kids' clothes to wash, we're gonna take care of that. And then, like I said, I do need to clean the bathroom and do some things around the house, so hopefully, I'll be able to share that with you guys. I'm just trying to give you some content. I hope everybody's doing well, had a great week, and enjoying the weekend so far. So these are the cards I got. I got one from one of my close friends, and then my mom, dad, to send them a card, and then also for Mason and Sanai's teachers. They had some really nice cards, so definitely that's a spot you guys can go check if you need cards. That's not too expensive. This box here, which is really cute to put a gift inside. Then I picked up, I didn't pick up too, too many things. I have two of these. Where the other one is at right now, I don't know. It's supposed to be two of these for the candy station. And then just got some of the cookies and cream snowmen, a little thing of gum, some Kit Kats, and then some spoons. I still have chocolate spoons left from last year. So I'm going to add that to it. And that one looks like it's broken, but yeah. And then I got some tissue paper for wrapping, some tape. We needed some hair bows, so I just decided to pick these up from there. I needed a pair of hair scissors again. And then I picked up some cotton pods and some Q-tips. They're probably not the best quality, but we will see. I picked them up because we were there. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you And you 
you off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you I need you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold This is so I was trying to find like a cute candy holder, but I remember that I had this little container from last year from Target from Mark and Spencer. So I'm using that and I'm going to fill it with um, the candies. I also have a big silver one as well, but I'm using a smaller one and it does come with a little light inside so you can turn it on and it's like a lantern. So yeah, we definitely use what we had and I'm going to show you guys how everything turns out. And I think, you know, with me just putting together with some of the stuff that I already had along with a few new pieces, it looks great and the kids loved it. I also just wanted to keep it really festive looking for them, and I think I accomplished that. What do you guys think? Bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I lost you. But you're off my radar now I've lost you I've lost you I keep on looking for you uh -uh. So there we go guys tell me what you think in the comments below and if you're new here i forgot to say my name is natasha i'm a full-time working mom of four and a special needs mom and here i bring you guys things on lifestyle motherhood and home which include cleaning motivation organization home updates day in the life type videos anything that has to do with being a wife and mom that's what you'll find here so if that's the type of content you like i definitely love for you to stick around and subscribe and now we're gonna go ahead and get to more laundry
later in the evening. I can't put on this light yet because you're not going to be able to hear me. I'm in the bathroom. I need to get it um, tied up a little bit. It's not bad, but I want to get a little um, touch up of it before the week starts. So I'm going to just do a little cleaning in here, wiping off the counters and sink, and then clean out the shower. I'm not sure I'm going to show you the shower because I usually do that off of screen and clean the toilet and just vacuum it up. And then I'm going to um, let Mesa come take a shower. I'm going to give you a little overview of how it looks before. And then I'm going to be using a toilet bowl cleaner that I got from Target, soft scrub, which is my jam. And then there's another cleaner with bleach that I'm going to just spray around the tub let that or the shower, let that sit while I do everything else. And then I'll head in there and clean that. Um, I actually fell asleep, y'all. The medication they have me on, it makes me sleepy. And I have to take it three times a day. So when I came back from taking Sanaya out, I took one. I was supposed to show you guys um, this, uh, what do you call it, water jug that I have as well. Um, a company sent it to me, so shout out to them. I'm going to show it to you guys in a little bit. If not tonight, then I'll try to do it first thing in the morning so I can show you guys. It's a water jug that has a filter on it um, that you keep in your fridge. So I'll show you guys that. But yeah, I fell asleep, so which the body needed it, needs rest, so I can't complain about that. But I'm going to go ahead and get this bathroom tidied up. I have the kids' laundry going right now. I just finished folding up the other laundry and putting it up. And I said, let me just film some a little bit more cleanup for you guys. And a lot of you guys are here for cleaning. So we're going to get some of that stuff done. And then we'll carry on. Jay's actually out front making some spaghetti. And then I think he bought the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, what is it? The biscuits. The red lobster biscuits. I usually make those from scratch. Uh, so I'll probably do that maybe in another video later on. I can make some from scratch so you guys can see it. The Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I usually make those, but he bought some of those. And um, I guess we're going to have that with dinner. And then I never got to crack open the wine with you guys the other night. So we're going to crack that open and have that with dinner. But enough rambling. Let's get into some cleaning, guys. And this is what the bathroom is looking like. This is the before stuff here. This is what I'm going to be using. Clean everything down. You guys can see the bathroom. Dun, dun. 
so here's a quick glimpse friends of how the bathroom looked after i cleaned it i just wanted to come back through and show you guys um what i did if you've been here for a while you know sanai used to have a bath chair inside the tub that is gone i had to get rid of that and i just have to order her a new one i've just been taking her in and out the tub so that's a lot but we deal with it and we do what we have to do and from here i'm gonna go over and just show you guys a little quick night recap before we go to the next day uh they had got a little elf and they named her lori she's sitting there in the christmas tree and i'm gonna try out this wine which was very good it wasn't too sweet or bitter it was just right um, i did like it so i definitely would be buying this one again still have a lot of it left so from here i'm just gonna go and sit down finish off the night playing a little bit of call of duty with jay and then we'll be headed into the next day so friends this part of the video is sponsored by the Hayexa water filter pitcher they were gracious enough to send this to me basically the pitcher is food grade plastic and basically it's designed to filter out chlorine impurities and other unpleasant odors that may be ca caught in your water um, basically it also reduces hard water so you're basically going to you know use this to give you healthier drinking water um, i know most of us sometimes do have like the um water filters on our fridge but this is not bad to have as well to have inside your fridge um the filters on this are good for about two months and then after that you would have to replace them the only thing is you do have to order the filter through this company which is not bad because you're getting it from you know the company that you purchased it from um, it's not hard setting it up basically when you first receive the filter which i'm going to show you guys you have to soak the filter and for 12 minutes in water and then you're going to rinse it for a couple of times and then you're going to put it into the jug and you guys i'm going to show you how i do it here and then you just add water to it and it automatically starts filtering out you know the impurities and giving you fresh water it actually um, does a great job and here i'm just showing you like the timer here the lcd timer on it and it does give you notification up to when your um, filter needs to be changed so if you're putting at least 40 gallons of water through it it'll you know indicate that it's time to change a filter or if that two month time frame comes by then it'll let you know that you need to change a filter as well so again i thank you to hey Exa for sending this to me the water did taste great um the kids have been loving it you know it's keeping them drinking more water so that's kind of good and neat so i have them linked in my amazon store and also linked in the description box below if you guys want to try it and check it out and i'll let you guys just go ahead and see um how i went ahead setting it up and then i'll also give you a little preview of me trying it out for the first time <laughs> try the water out with you guys let's see
it doesn't taste like faucet water it does taste like fresh so all in all i would say it's a good filter what are you laughing at make sure you guys check um hey Yexa out i'll have them linked in my amazon store and again congrats to everybody who won um the little giveaway i did a week ago and look out for another giveaway that will be coming soon for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video Find another reason